95.7 The Hog, The Morning Hog Show. Hi, it's Riggs. How you doing? Hey, Morning Hog Brew Review time. Josh S.R. Perot, right there, getting ready for more Oktoberfest. You know, we talk about how Oktoberfest is not just October. That's right. And we talk about how those beers that you would get during Oktoberfest, you don't have to stop at the end of October. Right. But we haven't even got to October. <laughs> I don't even know when September is at this point, but we know we have some great flavors. Right? We do, and they're all from Warstown here today. Okay. So, Jerm oh. Brewery. Okay. So, we are going to talk about Oktoberfest, but we're going to talk about some of their other offerings as well, just to kind of tie everything together, okay. right? Okay, fair. You know? um, we're going to start off with the original Warstowner from okay. Pilsner. All right. I like it. I so, like these come, going. you can either buy them in a 12-pack bottle, or what I brought today was actually a 15-pack variety. Oh, yeah, you don't hear ver- a yeah. fifteen pack variety. I think the import guys are doing it right with a fifteen pack. I kind of like everything you're saying right now. So that's three. So you have three different flavors. I see, there, right? Well, so there's three different flavors, and then Oktoberfest is going to come by itself. But okay. uh, yeah, there's three different flavors in okay. the fifteen pack. Okay. So, what is my you know, this is the one time I don't want you to do the math because I'm not 15. sure. <laughs> Pop the tab, crush the uh, uh, five of each, <laughs> five of each, <laughs> right? Go. Yes, yes. Whew. Good. I'm a little worried about it, but I'm, I'm glad we got there. Uh, all right. So, uh, where are we starting? So we have the original Warsteiner, okay. German Pilsner. Uh, this is four point two percent, I believe. Oh. I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Oh, it's a gentle four point eight. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, so these are brewed to the Germany purity laws, which are usually typically uh, water, oh. hops, yeast, and malt. Okay. Um, no added ingredients, stuff like that, or no, it is no longer part of that that purity law. Okay. Uh, so, st- all these beers are going to be super clean, crisp, easy to drink. This has a very different uh, taste complexion to me than than maybe something that doesn't have the purity it, laws. <laughs> as it finishes up there, you get a little bit of honey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It's sweet on the back. Yeah. So it's you like get, a little candy. Yeah. And, oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very. Uh, Traditional style German Pilsner, yep, um, thing. killer. I, I mean, I don't know if you can find another one as good and clean as that. No, I, I didn't know how I felt about the German purity laws before, but right now I'm all for them. Good for you, Germany. Good for you. you. Keep it clean. Keep it real. Established in 1753. What? Right. Again, think about think about you're in the 1700s, and what are you worried about? You worried about like light? You got to get candles. They so were established see? before our country. Right. <laughs> right. Right. What? I didn't even know that. So, uh, so then you're thinking, like, what are you worried about? And these, these cats are worried about beer. Good for them. And, and not only that, they're doing it right. Yeah, good for us, too. It's a great recipe. I like it a lot. Yeah, so like I said, 12 packs or the, the 15 packs. Um, the 15 packs are going to be easy to find in a place like Total Wine. Uh, the 12 yeah. packs you can usually find in local independents, some okay. Publixes, or you can always check out our website. He means uh, srprot.com slash beer finder. That's where you go to the website. You go to it on the internet, by the way. So we want to help you out for typing it in. Uh, let's let's do another one, and we'll take a break and kind of recalibrate what the hell's yeah, going on. absolutely. So this one is called Brewer's Gold. Okay. Brewer's Gold. This is unfiltered smooth taste. Ooh. Uh, it is a 5.2 percenter. Okay. Um, what's pretty cool is... Typically, when you look at the back of a beer can, you don't see the ingredients list or anything like that. Right. Here we go. Water, barley malt, oh. hops, hops extract, and yeast. Really? Uh, again. That's it. German purity law, okay. right? Okay. All right. Um, this is only available in that 15-pack in our market, at least. Okay. It's a fun-looking can, I'll be honest with you. There's so something yeah, about a sleek black can. Blo- black and gold can. Right. Brewers gold. Right? By the way, I know we're coming up on football season. It makes me think about, like, why is there not a black and gold team? You know, the Raiders got the black and silver, but... Saints? Black and gold. Oh, I don't count them. <laughs> <laughs> screw, screw them. No way. Boom. Fair mm. enough. Oh, yeah. Who dat? No, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Please move on. All right. So, so. nice amber color on this. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's got a very interesting nose on it, too. So, I haven't had this before, and that is good. Oh, that's way smoother than I thought it would be. That that's might be one smooth. of my favorite beers we've had in a long wow. time. Wow. So it's a first-time beer for uh, for me and Josh. Let's hear it, please. Thank very, you. very, yeah, thank very you. nice malt finish on that. Wow. Um, no bitterness. No. Easy drinking. Like I said, what was that? the ABV on that? 5.2%. Wow. Uh, that's killer. I almost I wish that was available by itself because that is awesome. Do you but think the, now, where, the, where the botanical action of when you're brewing a beer and what the yeast does and whatever, with the purity laws, they just throw it in and go like, I don't know what it tastes like. Let's find out. 
I, I'm you sure think they have a formula. I mean, being established in seventeen, what seventeen fifty three? Right. I'm sure they've had some trial and error, True. and now True. they've just been nailing it for the last two hundred years. Good or point. It is. Good point. They are nailing it, and I had no idea that uh, that you could uh, that you could get variety in Warsteiner. I thought they were a oh, man. That's good. I thought they were a one song band. One song they are, band. They are not. No, they multi multi song. Wow, band. they got a lot of hits. Not a one hit wonder. Let's well, let, you know what? Let's uh, let's uh, hang, take a quick break, and then we'll come back for another big hit from Warsteiner here on the Morning Hog Brew Review on ninety five seven The Hog. Look at that beer. 95.7 The Hog, The Morning Hog Show. Riggs and Josh from SR Parat, Morning Hog Brew Review. We're in the midst of Morning Hog Happy Hour. And what makes us happy is to try fun beers, especially when we're in a, a period that's sort of, I guess, pre-holiday. But then October is right there between the holidays or in front of the holidays. Pre-holiday. And so you could still have them during the holidays. Absolutely. You could be drinking this while you're uh, carving your pumpkin or drinking this while you're doing Christmas shopping carving in a store turkey. or the mall. That's how I do. I just walk around with the can. Labor Day. Never mind. No one says anything. You're allowed to walk around with a can. I think so. Yeah. You put yeah. a koozie on it. It's all fun. There you go. All right. So we had a. We're in the midst of a Warsteiner, or Warsteiner, but I talk. I say it like Rammstein. Yeah, right? I, I would too. Yeah, yeah that seems so, appropriate. That's my pronunciation. Uh, and so, what are we doing next? So, still part of this variety pack. Whoa! Um, oh. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look so, at that guy. This is also available in twelve pack bottles. Okay. And, and like I said, the the fifteen pack variety pack. This is their Dunkel. Oh, so you have a damn. lot of roasty dark malt flavor in here. I'll give you wow. that. Wow. Okay. The better poured one here. I do. Uh, I do enjoy the uh, Dunkel flavor. It is a very Dunkel. Uh, so is, not a lot of people outside of Germany are trying the Dunkel. Yeah, Dunkel is not uh, exactly a popular style over here. Right. Um, but that's one of the reasons I do enjoy it is because when you do find them, they're super well made. Right. Um, especially from a German. Ooh. Ooh. Brewery. Somebody roasted uh, something in that thing. Right? Do, you, do you want me to read the ingredients no, of this? I would too? like to know this, yes. Water, barley malt, roasted barley malt, hops, and hops extract. It doesn't sound like uh, it, should, uh, it should. Then in that sense, it should taste like the other beers we have, but it doesn't. But it doesn't. I don't think. Let's try it. Yeast and malt matter. It smells awesome. It's completely different. It's so different than the other. I mean, obviously, it looks different. So I haven't tasted it yet, but the smell is coffee. Yeah. A little bit of chocolate in there. Yep. yep. Somebody put this thing over a fire. Lit it up. I can't wait for that season. About to get lit up, too. What would you say the ABV on this thing is? This one was, I think, 4.8. It's incredible, because I would expect to get knocked on my socks. Right, right. It's not so much. I can... Yeah, that's the funny thing, right? Is When people taste a darker tasting beer without roasted malt, they yep. Im- immediately think it's a higher ABV beer. Sure. But we've discussed this in the past. Things yep. like Guinness. One of the lower ABV beers yeah. out there. Also lower calorie beer, which yeah. is odd. Right. Um, you would think that's what people call bread in a glass. Right. Not the case. <laughs> right. Um, but delightful. typically when you have that super roasty malt in there, you're getting a a large variation of flavors as it as you're drinking it. So it's not just a straight one note. You're getting all the, the hops, the yeast, yeah. all that caramel, chocolate, all that stuff. So that's why I enjoy this style of beer. Um, these darker beers because you, you just so much going on and brewed under German purity laws. I would imagine the the German purity law people, the enforcers, were probably coming in like, "Nah, that's not going to pass. That's <laughs> right. not going to get by." And they're like, "Oh yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Take and, that, Germany. Look at that. Appreciate we have another. You, you get a nice pile of cut, uh, beer crayons. Are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. The nice uh, variation of uh, mm-hmm. color in there. Love it. Typically, that's called the SRM. Oh. You're, you're welcome to go Google that. If oh, you really? Like, but oh, wow, that I don't sounds, feel like describing it today. sounds like a deep dive right yeah. there. Uh, there's only one Warsteiner left. There is. What is that? So one? those three flavors we just had were in the 15-pack. Okay. Uh, so we have the German Pilsner, the Brewer's Gold, and the Dunkel. Um, five, five of each, I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, and then we have our limited special seasonal release, I guess you could call it. Uh, Warsteiner Oktoberfest. Oh, this go. is where we were trying to go the whole time. Here we go. I like this a lot. Because we're not talking about pumpkin. It's not pumpkin. It's Oktoberfest. Don't so this does appear to be a uh, festile beer based on the color. Okay. Hmm. 5.9%. Okay. I'm going to take a look at that. And I would read the ingredients again, but you could probably guess what they were. <laughs> uh, like, oh, water, uh, hop, and uh, beer flavoring. All right. Yeah, that's good too, man. Wow. I like the can on this one. It has that that uh, traditional blue and white checkered flag. Yes. Uh, beautiful gold logo, stuff like that. Yeah. So it looks very traditional, especially if you're holding it at an event or yeah. anything like that. I would like to have a shirt with that on it too. We did get this in draft as well. Really? So oh. keep your eyes peeled on that. Okay. Um, check the out season. the website. 
Oh, you know, uh, uh, what, you talk about which website? I can't remember though. What was the? Uh, oh, I think srprod.com slash beer finder. That's go. it. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, or you know, like I said, I believe Deland's doing an event. I will confirm that here shortly. Okay. But they're looking to do a two-day event downtown Deland. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on that as well. You know, it's it's, it's that time of year, man. It is. I'm excited. Season. Yeah. See, for beer lovers, this is like pre-Christmas, right? Absolutely. And then you get into Halloween, and then you get to the actual Christmas. There's yeah. a lot of hurdles to jump. I hope your taste buds are ready for some pumpkin beer next Ooh, time. Ooh, hello. Mm, let me think about it. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm feeling gordy. Well, until next week there. <laughs> Cheers, Josh. Cheers. <laughs>